My name is Chase Johnson Lynch, as it says right, you can sit down now. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Chase Johnson Lynch, and pretty much I'm an American filmmaker, but I've been living here for 17 years. So yes, I have that American accent, it's all cool, it's all great. But I've been teaching media for about like about 15 of those years. Because everything has moved now, you know, it's no longer people just making films anymore, you know, they're doing stuff for YouTube online, right? So how many of you watch YouTube? Of course you do. You're the audience perfect for YouTube, you know? YouTube is that page that is great for traveling, right? You could be in a cafe, you could be on a train, you could be anywhere, and you can watch stuff. Right? So people are no longer needing like a TV license anymore because YouTube has become the new television. Now what's great about it is, is that you don't have to be famous, you don't have to be some big starlet with long blonde hair or anything like that. You could be every, everyday people because what happens is, is that the audience, they're kind of like moving away from that voice. They want to hear something real, authentic. What I like about what you guys did up there, right, is kind of like what you're going to do with this project. It's perfect for what this course offers. It's because when you're doing this community journalism project, pretty much you're asked to just be you. What do you like? What are you, what, what are you interested in? How many times do you get to do that? Most of the times, you know, you're told what to believe in. You're told what to like. But here, you could be into games. You could be into TV. You could be into film. You could be into apples. Apples. You can. <laughs> And there will be a podcast on iTunes for it. I swear. You go on iTunes, and you'll find a podcast for people who like apples. You know? And But we're not going to talk about apples today. Basically, what you're going to be doing is, is really kind of like a crash course in how to create a YouTube channel, right, which involves creating podcasts, how to edit it, and how to upload it. Now, how many of you have YouTube channels? Because a lot of times, young people, like three-year-olds, have a YouTube channel. So how many of you have YouTube channels? Anybody? Go ahead, lad. There you go. There's nothing wrong with that. My son was, was is 15, but he had a YouTube channel since he was like about 11, right? So can I ask you, what is your YouTube channel about? Um, Home. Not much. Not much. Like what? It's things you like, though, right? Yeah, just So just messing around? What do you do? Like gameplay, walkthroughs, watching things, saying stuff? Yeah, alright. So that's cool. Because how many people do you think are subscribing to your channel? No. You know. <laughs> that's, that's the whole thing, huh, baby. Not a lot? Not a lot. Okay. Why do you think that you wouldn't have a lot of subscribers? It doesn't have to do with like how many friends you feel you have. It's about the consistency of it. That's one of the things that you know, we'll be talking about, is that when you create a channel, not only do you have to be consistent, meaning that that channel has to produce content every week, sometimes every day, because if you don't, then the people who didn't like the last video will go away and watch something else, right? You have to think about YouTube like Pac-Man, right? The audience is devouring very quickly content, right, all the time. Right? Feed me, see more. That's what they want. Yeah? And what you have to do is if you decide to make a channel, then it has to be one that is going to be consistent in that way. So that's what we're going to be looking at when we look at that today. Now, to jump ahead, over here is like there are three types of podcasts. Right? So anybody ever heard of the word vlog or vlog? What is it? You heard of it, but you don't know what it is? Yeah. Go ahead. Um. A vlog is a picture of life, and a vlog is someone telling you about their life or writing about their life. Obviously, a vlog is a video footage, obviously, yeah. That is exactly right. Yeah, but it is what we call. It is what we call in this terminology of podcast. It's what we call like a single podcast, right? So a vlog that you will be doing is is that as one person. You would sit in front of the camera, that's some people used to do it on the eyesight of their computer, right? You do it with their phone. You sit in front of the camera, it's a head and shoulder shot, or what is it called, medium shot, and you're just talking about whatever it is you're interested in. Is that what you do? Pretty much, right? So that's what you're doing, is you're doing a single podcast, yeah? Now, they shouldn't range any more than like 5 to 15 minutes. 
15 minutes is really long. You will be amazed at how long five minutes is, right? So you have to know your topic. It has to be something like this you wrote up there. It has to be something that you're really interested in and really passionate about, right? So you don't just say, let's see, you know, like up here. I'm not, you don't just say, okay, I'm gonna talk about homelessness or bullying as a single vodcast. And then what happens is two minutes in, you have nothing to say. Why do you think that would be? You said everything too much. You said everything already and you maybe have said it too fast and I didn't go. Um, it's like when you talk about someone and something else comes into your head, you can go deeper into that subject and then talk about the next thing you were gonna talk about, maybe go deeper into like did you think mm -hmm. of anything extra, not just talk about like this and talk about that and this and do this all over you. Um, like if you're talking about bullying and you're talking about um, the bully, yeah. usually they'll just be like, all right, the bully is a bad person. But then you can go deeper into it and be like, why people may bully or why that may happen. And Again, Dan, very, very true. So what happens is you might think you know something about a subject, but you don't know five minutes length of that subject. You can learn more as you're talking because something will pop up. Well, in you can learn more before. Is what I was trying to say is you have to research right, that topic, before you do it. So if you say I'm gonna do bullying, and you might say I've been bullied, or I might know somebody who's been bullied, right, because I don't wanna say I've been bullied, oh, 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 why would I wanna do that, right, but I know somebody who's been bullied. The whole point about it is, just that one situation is not enough, possibly, for a topic. So you research it, instead of just trusting that you know everything about that subject. Does that make any sense? So I know that you guys are already doing that, from what I heard you do before, is it that you're going to research your topics for this journalism project, but I'm really just trying to say what the importance of that is. Because in time, five minutes seems, sounds short, but it's very long when it's one person, right? So then what you do is you do what we call a double uh, bycast, which is obviously two people, but when you look at double bycast, basically, Interesting thing is this couple, or we call them panels, is a panel of opposites, right? So let's just say if we were going to do sports, right? Not my favorite subject. <laughs> say we're going to do sports. Would you put two reds on the table? No. Or let's see, where are we? We're not even, we're, we're in Manchester, right? Yeah. On the edge. So would you put two men, man, you uh, people on the table? You could. No. You could just sit in United. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. The opposites. You will put a man you and a man man city on the table. How about two opposite teams? Yeah, exactly. Why? Why would you put two people on the same topic? Because they'll speak about the same thing rather than two separate things. Boring, not interesting. So that's what's really great about conflict is the fact that, that because you know that you're gonna take a topic, let's say, let's go back to bullying again. You're gonna take a topic like bullying. And you want to have two sides of that. That doesn't mean you have to have a bully and a person who has been bullied. That just means you have two points of view on that topic. So that way you cover a range in that topic. Anybody understand what I mean by that? Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. someone that thinks it's um, someone who thinks it's bad to bully and someone who thinks there's reasons behind it. Right. And also too is is that they're like um, bullying in different contexts, aren't there? There's cyber bullying. And there's physical bullying. There's emotional bullying. See, this is what happens is the topic becomes more interesting when it's not personalized for just my situation is I was cyber bully and I might want to just talk about that. Or I want to engage a conversation and talk about more like why is it happening? What can we do about it? What's wrong about it? You know, how do we stop it? What advice do we have for other people? Um, what is it? Emotional bullying has a longer effect than physical bullying would have physical bullying obviously heal. Yeah. Although it does affect the person for when they grow up because obviously it's in your head. But emotional bullying normally affects you for longer because it's more mental. Yeah. So it has more lasting about, effects on it, doesn't it? We talk about the effects of that different types of bullying could have. Maybe cyber bullying could give you a low self-esteem because, yeah. Yeah. And the thing about it is, what's, what do you, what's worse about cyberbullying? What do you think is one of the worst things about cyberbullying? Not like I'm going off topic, because we're looking for topics anyway. What do you think is the worst thing about cyberbullying? You can say whatever you want, you can listen, talk, you know, stop 
Because Like, it's all for the company, but it's not like anyone's there to stop it. Um, you want to add to that? Are you adding to that? Or because what she left out was... Um, so, cyberbullying you can make a lot of threats that you wouldn't usually say in real life face to face because you know that you will not truly do it. But How can you do that though? Because what are you leaving out? Go ahead, um, I forget. Um, I, I don't think it's to do with that, but like, it follows you everywhere. Like, you can't just get away from it from like school or college or anything like that. International. Digital footprints are forever. But well, what I was saying is that what's left out was Everybody heard of the term troll, right? Yeah, yeah. trolls. <laughs> troll. <laughs> Why are they called trolls? Just stupid okay, that's stupid emotion. But <laughs> <laughs> because we don't know who they are. That's what I'm saying you left down. Right? The worst thing about cyberbullying is, is that it's not physical. You, it's not like somebody comes up and punches you in the back of the head. Yeah? The problem is, is that they wear a mask. Yeah? Trolls, they could go on, like they call them keyboard warriors, they could go on and they could just say you're this and you're that, and then you don't know who they are because they did it under, under a fake profile. Because they got, they're not courageous enough to stand in front of you and put you in the back of the head. Right? So that's the worst thing about cyberbullying. Well, because in real life, if they stand in front of you, if well, you but just if they like could, they would, but most of the time they don't, and that's why they call them trolls. It's because cyberbullying is one of the worst forms of bullying is because you don't know where it's coming from. So what happens is, as reason why it's a form of emotional bullying is because it's long lasting because you don't know. What's the worst thing about trolls is, it's like the Lone Ranger, yeah? It's the fact that they're masked, they're saying whatever they want to say about you, and then they take that mask off and they go, hey man, what's up Johnny? Oh, I'm really upset, somebody just said something like, oh, did somebody? That's really bad. And that's the troll. You don't know. That's the whole point, isn't it? Right? When you're cyberbullied by a mysterious person, that's what's the worst thing about it is. Yeah? And it creates those long-lasting effects, you know what I'm saying? Right? So it is a very interesting topic and subject to probably cover and look at. But in this panel of opposites, going back to that, I call it like, because I, I do a lot of like superhero stuff, I call it like a Marvel team-up. Like two people kind of like going head to head on a topic. What about DC? What? What about DC? The what? Why, why Marvel? <laughs> Marvel DC? DC? Are, you, are you DC or are you Marvel? There's another oh, debate. DC. Come on, girl, come on. Listen, listen, listen. I said, are you DC or Marvel? I didn't say, are you MCU or DCEU? <laughs> There's a difference. Look at that page of Lost already. I'm Marvel, but I'm just asking why Marvel, why not Batman. DC. I oh, know I'm a DC person what? actually. DC. <laughs> what? I'm yeah, I'm a, I'm a DC person. I'm old school, you know. DC, I mean, the pantheon of gods and everything like that. But the movies, you know, kind of like went a little bit left with that time. Anyway, I love that. We could actually do that if anybody wants to do that. That's lovely. I, I love to do a Marvel versus DC debate and stuff. Now the last one. Is the panel. This is the one that should be the most fun, right? Because it's three or four people, and that's why this table has four chairs. Yeah? This is the one I think you would enjoy most. Because the four people, or the three people that are on the panel, they represent you. Right? Anytime you see, oh, one second, every time you see a panel, each person represents somebody in the audience. Male, female, black, white, old, young, Denominations, um, sexualities, all of that is all represented in the chance of a panel. And that means they're all on the same subject, right? They're all on the same subject, but they represent a cross section of you, right? So what's interesting about that is, is that like, <clears throat> you as the audience who watches it gets to have your voice be heard. There's, there's no disrespect. I mean, you can have a conflict on a panel between two people. Of course you can. Right? As long as you're not... A responsible conflict. There we go. See, I, I, I like you. You know what I mean? A responsible conflict. Right? So you're not trying to badger someone just for who they are or what they believe in. You're just having a difference of opinion. But this is played for fun. 
Right? Reason why podcasting is the new television is because people watch it. They like watching it. They don't like watching fights. They just like watching stuff that they're interested in and people like themselves talking about it. So you guys representing young people would be actually an interesting panel because we don't really see that. How many of you who said you watch YouTube see a panel of young people if it, unless it's kids react? I know. I know it's horrible. But still. How many of you? No. Right? Nope. Because what it is, is, is that unfortunately, you know, <laughs> the internet has like, you know, a stigma above it, right? Like an umbrella. But they're not like um, thinking, oh, young people, oh, young people on the internet. No, no, no. We can't put young people on the internet, you know, because there never be people watching them. There are people watching them when their parents put them on Facebook when it's, you know, on clothes day or, 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 or first day of school or Halloween. Right? Kids, it's talk a that, kids talk about that rolling on Facebook. Okay? Oh, yeah, I know about that spam account there, then. You know what I mean? You know, I, love it. I love it how kids all have like two, 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 two accounts one for their parents and one for themselves. <laughs> right? No joke, I blocked my mom. <laughs> no, no, no. I know it's no joke. Because you go, hey, look, look, give me a school. I'm having a good time with my friends. And then on the real one, all right, who's got the real Who's got the this? Who's got that? Hey, where's the party? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I'm being real. I'm being real. I, I deal with kids. I've done that. No, no, you haven't. That so, no, 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 you haven't. <laughs> I'm not on social media anymore, so technically I'm okay. all right now. I don't use social media anymore. All right, all right, all right. Just remember this is being recorded. So, so as, far as, as far as the panel is... I'm nervous laugh, though. I know. It is, it is. It is a little bit nervous. As far, as far as the panel, the last thing I want to say about the panel is when I say that you represent a cross-section, is that what I need you to focus on because what you should know is we want to be filming stuff today but what I need you to focus on is an avatar. Anybody know what an avatar is? No, but can I just say You don't know what it is? I don't what, know. One thing you don't well, know. I do, but like an avatar, like say a profile picture or a picture or like that. Anyway, <laughs> Yeah. Um, you can actually go watch live panels. Say if you're interested in a movie or something, you, can, you get them cosplayers. Sit in the panel and you go watch live panels where fans can ask questions and they're in the character of it and they ask the questions. They talk to the other characters as they are in character and blah blah blah. That's right. So yeah. that's exactly what I'm saying. I like panels. I, I usually wa I used to watch a lot of panels. Do you watch Smalldown? Do you watch Clark video? I used to be a, an anime nerd. <laughs> An what? An anime nerd. An anime nerd. Don't ask me about Yeah, I know, I know. I'm a gamer nerd. I, I know what you're talking about. Okay. I know what you're talking about. My, my, yeah, I know what you're talking about. My son's into Pokemon. Right, so... Hey, Pokemon's somewhere else. You can't diss that. I've got... I'm not dissing it. I'm not dissing it. I'm just saying. This is not anime. I'm not dissing it. Anyway. Right? Avatar. I Profile think. pick, yes. But yeah. in our case of panels, is that well, it's the think. highest representation of you. Okay? So, that means that I, um, I'll just, I'll just do this. What's your name again? Tallulah. Pat. Tallulah. Tallulah. So, Tallulah, let's just say that you're really a shy girl, right? You're really shy. Yeah? Yeah? Are you really shy? I don't like talking. I'm really shy. Anyway, let's just say you are. But your avatar would be not shy. It'd be the opposite. It'd be the highest representation of who you are inside. Do you understand what I mean? The best part of you. You should be doing that. Right? The best part of you. Right? So when you're on stage, right, guys? When you're on stage, the whole point is you don't want to be sitting there like this. Because the camera's on you, right? Waiting for my turn to speak. You don't want to do that. <laughs> you have to be in character. Right? The highest representation of you. So if you're naturally a shy person, right? I'm naturally quiet. I mean, I'm, I'm, my confidence is a little bit knocked and everything like that, you know, because of what happened then. Guess what? I don't know what happened then. I and your audience do not know anything about you. Don't know where you live. Don't know your past. Don't know anything. They only know your avatar. Do you, does that make any sense? When I shy kid myself, in you know high school, when I went off to college, I figured, oh, it's time for a change. I'm tired of being shy. I'm tired of being like not having no girlfriend. Not, not, you know, I'm tired oh, of that. It's, no, it's, it's fine. Thanks. Anyway, so when I went to college, changed my name. Right? You think changes my name? Seriously? Right? Changed my name. Changed my attitude because I was in a whole new world. 
So I just stepped into a new world and I could be anybody. I was like boisterous, I was loud, I was like fun, I was, you know, everybody. So you did a gaggle and I'm guessing. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be young forever. Anyway, so, you don't know that. So anyway, right. <laughs> I became my avatar. Awesome. And it stuck, no, no, no. <laughs> became my avatar and it stuck with me, right? And everything because I wanted to be this person and I became this person because I didn't want to be who I felt I was from my past And this is what I'm just trying to say to you. It's a chance for you to change that whole paradigm for yourself so When you create your avatar and you sit on a panel and you talk about topics like bullying or Marvel versus DC whatever That person they don't even have to be your name Right it could be you know, a name that you made up, and that's who you are when you're on that panel. Does this all make any sense to anyone? Yes. yes. So yes. I think. Does, yeah? So, that's all I wanted to do, was just give you an overview about these panels, because what we want to do is, is that, what we want to do is, we want to be able to create a panel. That means we need four volunteers. Can I be on it? Of course you can, I have a box, by the way. Of course you can, because... Of course you can, because so wait a minute, wait a minute. First of all, this, I, I forgot this part. You do not let me say What? I don't have to You will say it, I'm sorry. I know I will. All right, guys, 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 young people. Can I say what I'm going to say? So on the panel, we need a moderator. Can I say what I'm going to all right, go ahead. What do you what, what do you want to say? A moderator is the main person. So usually, I need even to ask them the question. Okay, usually, yeah. uh, when the panel starts, there's one person with a microphone that explains the panels, introduces everyone, blah blah blah. And then the a moderator. Starts. So a moderator is the person that starts everything now and says. He's moderator. So, I'll be the moderator. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think like I'm in general. Few people in the group have started. He's got that confined there interviewing. Before so wait, 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 wait. Don't don't get it twisted though. Just because I, um, Dan said that the moderator is the person who sets things off, um, Dan is right about that, but everybody gets a how chance to talk. How do you know my name? Oh. Well, Jesus. how did I not know your name? Everybody gets a chance to talk, yeah. right? So the idea is the moderator is only there to keep the um, story going. So with your panel, you're going to decide, you're going to take like a couple of minutes to decide on what your topic is. Can I say something about avatars? Yeah, go ahead. All right. So it's like you know, in, you know, when you say you follow someone on Instagram, when you watch uh -huh. someone on YouTube, uh -huh. that would be their avatar because that's how you, who you're watching. But you don't actually know who, who that person is in real life. Yeah. You just know them as the person they are being online. Yeah. So that would be that's the difference between an avatar, avatar and who someone really is. Because an avatar is someone you would see them off as, but in real life, obviously, you don't know what they could actually be like. This is indeed true. I like to, I don't like to think I'm a popular person, but other people like to think so. So, um... No, 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 I'm not bragging. What I'm trying to say is, I'm saying what the problem is with the avatars is the fact that your presence on social media, people think they know you. They think they're your best friends. So, like, I had, like, pictures, you know, with my wife in Turkey, and, you know, we went to a mud bath and everything like that. Pictures were taken, ended up on Facebook. Come back home, walking down the street, someone go, <laughs> you know, dude, what's up with that bath, man? What, what? I don't even know you. <laughs> you know, I mean, what I'm trying to say is people think they know you. They think they know you by your representation and what you were just saying, and they don't. So, well, like, you have a mud bath every day now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is what we're going to do. Right? You guys gonna um, go into. Alright, this is what we're doing. Movie themes. Hold on. We're gonna create. Memes. We're gonna create. Memes. Oh my hold on. God. Hold on. <laughs> we're gonna create one panel and one double act. Yeah? Cool. And one single podcast. Yeah? Great. And everything. So that means everybody gets to plan something. Right? The panel will have to pick a topic, right, that has three points in it, right? When I say begin, the middle, and end, that means that, like, so a moderator will start off the point, then somebody else will add on to the point, then somebody else will add on to the point, somebody might go off script, somebody goes off script that the moderator has to bring it back to that second point or third point, and then the moderator will get to the end with the third point, 
and open and close the podcast. But you're only going to have, because we're on a limited time, you're only going to have five, five, to, five to seven minutes.